Um, okay. Just gonna. All right. So welcome everyone. I'm excited to be here from, it's obviously a cabin <laughs> where I'm calling in from and, um, and, and really glad to be offering yoga nidra this evening. So thank you each for being here and we'll have some time after the yoga nidra practice for some reflections and Q and a type thing. Um, so if anything comes up for you during the practice, just know that that's there for you. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'll focus on this evening with the yoga nidra, the non-sleep deep rest. Um, so for those of you that are joining for the first time, this is a lying down guided meditation practice. And uh, the phrase non-sleep deep rest um, was coined by Andrew Huberman, who is a professor at Stanford and is looking in his lab at practices such as yoga nidra that are helpful for the nervous system and for sleep and for even improving working memory and that kind of thing. And so um, the term non-sleep deep rest is actually quite apropos for yoga nidra because it is deep rest and it's not necessarily what we call sleep where you go through all of the stages of sleep. However, you can fall asleep during the practice. And I want to talk a little bit for one about the fact that it's powerful when you do fall asleep during the practice. And so it's this funny balance between if you're doing the yoga nidra practice and you're distracted and you're thinking about something else, it won't work <laughs> in the sense that you're just going to be having that in the background where you're having your own sort of internal narrative experience. And so if you find that during the practice, you're in your thinking mind and you're not really present, that's the moment to redirect your attention right back to exactly where we are. And perhaps we're sensing our right elbow. And at that moment, all of your presence and attention moves to your right elbow. And this is like building the muscle of attention training at that point where you're allowing your attention to return back to the practice. So it's very, it's meditation in that sense. Um, but the funny thing about it is that were you to fall asleep or should you fall asleep during the practice, that's equally, if not better, <laughs> um, of a meditation. And I, I was reading um, one of one of the founders of the um, of what's currently called Yoga Nidra was it's Swami Satyananda Saraswati, and he was talking about how he first came up with it because he was realizing that students that were falling asleep um, during different chanting practices would then remember the chants later, but they were asleep during the practices. And so he actually originally used it to kind of help people learn um, something that they weren't able to learn, you know, maybe if, because they were young or whatever it was. So when you do fall asleep during the practice, you're still hearing everything at some level. It's kind of a hypnagogic in between sort of liminal state. And so honestly, when I do yoga nidra and I fall right into that state, I feel like, you know, I feel, I feel like I won. <laughs> it's like when I kind of am waking up at the end when, you know, the voice is saying something, when I know it's kind of wrapping up, then there's just been this deep rest in my system. I can feel it. I see it reflected in my sleep later and it's really powerful. So I say that because there's this balance between yes, let yourself fall asleep as you watch the body kind of fall asleep in you even if you'd like to do that practice. But even if you just kind of start to hear the guidance and then fall into a sleep and come back up and fall back into an in-between state, there that's actually beautiful because the suggestions that are there in the practice are there to take you deeper into your own experience. It's not an imposition from the outside of an outside belief. It's, a, it's an inquiry that we're doing during the practice. So at some level, you're being invited to inquire as you're um, feeling like you're sort of in between a waking state and a sleep state. 
the other side of that is, you know, if you're just in your thinking mind, there's not much benefit of the practice. And so if that is the case for you, then it's doing that sort of attention training, those lifts of, okay, there I am thinking about this situation again. I'm going to draw my attention back to the breath, back to where we are at this moment in the practice. And I'm going to be patient with the unfolding meditation that's here. You can always have your own inner meditation. So no need to exactly follow my voice or the guidance. And it's more about building the muscle of paying attention in the meditation practice, um, doing so in like a light way. And so um, if you do find yourself getting distracted, that's the best way to address that. And finally, one other piece before we begin, I wanted to talk about the felt sense. There's so much in this practice where we're, we're feeling the felt sense of the body, body sensations, the felt sense of heaviness, of lightness. We work with opposites. And there is a reason why this is so powerful. And uh, Jean Klein, who was my teacher's teacher, um, who also studied with people in India who taught him the Kashmiri Shaivist sort of tradition. He called it kind of the perceiving that in a way what we're what we're doing in this meditation is getting more in touch as we get in touch with the felt sense of the body. We're getting in touch with this kind of pure perceptivity or perceiving or perception that's um, without intervening narrative and that is almost like another sense comes online. So as at the beginning of the practice, we open the senses. Um, and, and as we do so, and there's this, this idea that all of the senses are open globally, there's this perception or perceiving that can occur that is more close to um, what's called kind of meditative awareness. And um, it's, it's, includes but isn't but is distinct from i think just the thinking mind and so um it's it's something that is an invitation as we go into the practice you might say okay we're going to sense our right ear and it's like okay i've already sensed my right ear like five times in the last five weeks you know <laughs> okay we're going to do this again and yeah actually we are <laughs> and as we do so and we're sensing our right ear and the 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 felt sense of that and we drop the image of the ear and we're just in the pure perceiving of the the felt sense of the right ear and and as we do that this other way of perceiving is coming online the reason for those of us interested in deep meditative self-inquiry that that's important is the way that we have spiritual recognition and insight is through that same perceptive awareness. So when we're growing the muscle of being in tune with this perception capacity that we have, um, we're kind of laying the groundwork for whatever our own spiritual inquiry might be. And whether that's at the level of an emotion, of a thought, of an, a belief we're holding, of inquiring into the nature of who we are. And then the, the recognition or insight or ans answer comes through that same lens of this perception. And when it's not clouded by these intervening narratives and the way that we can kind of close down on things with our minds, then it can be like a more full and whole and integrated understanding that comes. So that's a lot <laughs> that I'm sharing. And so take, take and leave any amount of it. Um, it's just here really as a bit of a scaffolding as we go into the practice. So before we go into the practice, I'm just curious, are there any questions? And you could place a question either in the chat or you can unmute yourself and, um, and feel free to ask and if not, then, then we'll start the practice, but I want to leave it open for a moment.
Okay. I think we'll go into the practice then. And um, so just for everyone's information, we're, we're recording this through the end of the practice, and then we'll stop the recording and have that time for the uh, reflection together. And um, so feel free to have your videos um, off or on, and we'll have everybody muted during the practice and get comfortable. So wherever you are, you might have your computer nearby and, and be lying down on a couch. You may be on a bed or the floor. Um, wherever it is that you feel like you can really get comfortable for a yoga nidra practice. And the practice will be done, if you can, in a lying down position. Um, it's nice if you can have a bolster underneath your knees or um, or your feet elevated. I've been doing that lately in the practice and um, that seems to be really helpful to elevate my feet a little bit, just a couple pillows underneath. Um, I hear that that stimulates the glymphatic system, which is good for our immune system and um, other things, I imagine. You can also have your head propped up on a pillow if you like. And if you have a blanket or you, you can find, um, if you'd like your arms by your sides, they can be palms face up or down, or if it feels more comfortable to you, one palm on your chest, one palm on your belly but just somewhere that you can really rest and relax. And as you get settled in, allow your shoulder blades to move down your spine. So you're letting your body be supported. <clears throat> so feel free to allow your eyes to gently close and just kind of bringing your attention inward now, this kind of inward turn from all that has come before in the day to this moment. So as you close your eyes and feel the connection of your palms to whatever surface they're on, connection of your heels, backs of your legs, your back, back of your head. Notice how your exhalation may just naturally lengthen as you settle in. This balance of not trying too hard to relax, but inviting and allowing relaxation. As a felt sense in your body. Maybe starting with a moment of gratitude, something from your day that you can connect with can be a very simple moment, something you're grateful for. We'll just start the practice. So find your senses open and start with touch. So feeling the weight of your body on the surface that supports you, a touch of air on your skin. Just perceiving with the felt sense here, touch. And then sound, can you let your whole body be like a receptivity to sound? sound of my voice, the sound in the room, outside the room where you are. It's as if you're not grasping for hearing, it's just naturally 
coming towards you. In sight, so if you have your eyes closed, notice any shapes or colors or light or darkness across the eyelids. Again, we're sensing with the felt sense here, of sight, of touch, of sound. Sensing taste and smell simultaneously. Senses open. And draw your attention to the in-breath and the out-breath, just as it is in this moment. You may feel the gentle rise of your belly, the gentle fall of your belly. Perhaps already Exploring that sense of perceiving, being this kind of pure perception, senses open, breath coming and going. And importantly, a feeling of being held or safe or secure, at ease. So maybe that the body is resting in this kind of spaciousness. Can you also sense the qualities of holding, like a cocoon or a womb or just a, a gentle surface? But feeling deeply interconnected in this quality of holding. Perhaps repeating inwardly, I'm safe with myself, I'm held. Allowing yourself to explore and try on the guidance here, just letting go of anything that doesn't resonate. There's no imposition just being in an inquiry with our own felt experience. Tuning in again to the in-breath and the out-breath, natural, gentle, senses open. And setting an intention for this practice that may be whatever it is for you in this moment. It may be something that brings you to your deeper heartfelt intention for your life. But any intention that comes to you in this moment, simply affirm inwardly. Breath coming and going. Feeling this quality or perhaps inquiring the possibility of a quality of this pure perceiving, this perception, naturally operating. No need for a doer or ideas, just the natural sense operating. Let this carry you through the practice. So we'll return to the intention at the end of the practice. For now, allowing attention to gently rest on the inhale and the exhale.
noticing if there's any movement of the mind from the day is it sort of is like a wheel turning and perhaps allowing that wheel to slow no need to grab onto the thoughts that are coming attention rested on the breath Let's systematically rotate attention through the body now as a way of tuning in to what's present with the felt sense of being here. We'll start sensing the entire backside of the body from the back of the head to the heels. Can you feel any accompanying sensations of heaviness, of rest, relaxation, of ease? Still following the breath in and out, sensing the entire backside of the body and any quality of heaviness, weight, relaxation. When you feel into one opposite long enough, its opposite co-arises. So as we sense heaviness, backside of the body, continue sensing that and then wait until there's this natural movement to sense the entire front side of the body in a feeling of lightness, weightlessness, spaciousness. And explore that as you breathe in and out. Feeling spacious, weightless, at ease. Breath coming and going. And then again, as you sense that almost to its completion, can you allow the opposite? So perhaps with an exhale, sensing heaviness, whole backside of the body. Then going back and forth at your own pace between feeling the entire backside of the body and the quality of heaviness. And then the whole front side, quality of weightlessness. Light as a feather. Maybe shifting between the two with the in-breath, whole front side of the body, face, chest, tops of legs, feet. And then with the out-breath, whole back side of the body, back of head, back, backs of heels, legs. And like the body breathing itself as you go between these two. Weightless and weight. Now, as you breathe in and out, can you feel them both simultaneously, heavy and light? Earth element and air. Spacious and grounded. It's 
So the mind can't easily get a hold of two opposites at once. So we're feeling with the perception of the body through the felt sense, both simultaneously, whole body globally, heavy and light. There's no particular way this needs to look. There's no correct way to do it. So being with your experience just as it is with a sense of kindness, curiosity, having the practice of simply bringing your attention right into this present moment, right where we are in the practice with patience, with care. Now we'll sense the body, so starting with the jaw and ending in the feet. When I name a body part, simply become aware is there any tension here? If so, noticing and allowing the tension, it may spontaneously release or relax. Just noticing whatever it is that you come upon. So starting with the jaw, is there any tightness or holding in the jaw from speaking or thinking? As you bring your attention to the felt sense of the jaw, Notice it might become very spacious. Do the same thing with the ears, the left ear. When I name left ear, feel the felt sense of the left ear. You may have an image of your ear Allowing the image to fade away and just having the sense left ear. Notice whatever's in your experience. Breath coming and going. Belly rising and falling with each breath. Can you allow attention to shift from the inner left ear across the midline of the head into the right ear? Bringing attention to the right ear, noticing what you come upon. Pure sensation. Breath coming and going. And then both ears simultaneously. Notice if you're breathing from your mouth or your nose, there's no correct way to do this. Simply drawing attention to the breath. That gentle flow as the belly rises and falls. Feeling this perception, this perceptivity here. Now let's sense the eyes, starting with the left eye. There may be some kind of holding or tightness around your left eye from the day. Do you allow that to release? like dissolve into the face as it does, the face relaxes, jaw relaxes, ear relaxes. And from the left eye, allowing attention to draw across the midline, the face to the right eye. 
noticing any tightness or holding. Allowing that to relax, dissolve into the face, and perhaps the tension dissolves from the face. Any unnecessary holding is being let go of. And now both eyes simultaneously. So the whole face, eyes, ears, jaw, feels like it just really beginning to let go, relax, release any tension or holding. Sensing the forehead, crown of the head, back of the head, whole head and face relaxed, at ease. Allowing attention now to be on the neck, the back of the neck. Can you notice if there are any places in the back of the neck where your body is holding your head away from the surface that supports you? If so, can you allow that to release and relax? Letting attention move gently to the left shoulder. And then with an exhale, so it's as if you're following this feeling of nectar all the way down your left arm, slowly, all the way down your left arm, past that left elbow, left wrist, into the palm of the left hand, fingertips. As you breathe in and out, feeling the vibratory aliveness of your whole left arm, left hand, fingers. Letting go of agenda. Being with what you actually come upon in your left arm and hand as you breathe in and out. Allowing attention to shift to the right shoulder. With this gentle exhalation all the way down the right arm, can you feel just like nectar, your attention, energy, just moving down your right arm past your right elbow, right wrist, into the palm of the right hand and right fingertips. As you breathe in and out, sensing your entire right arm and hand. So really let go of thinking as we sense now both arms simultaneously, beginning with the shoulders. Take an exhale, just like nectar, all the way down, both arms into both hands. Whatever's in your experience is perfect just as it is. There's thinking, just gently reorienting attention to both arms, both hands simultaneously, and this perception, felt sense, 
Images may come and go. Thoughts or words may come and go. But tuning in to the felt sense of this pure perception. We'll do the same with the torso. So starting up at the neck and chest and upper back. With an exhalation, just allow energy and attention to flow down the torso to the waist. So this is like this nectar feeling flowing down. Subtle, spacious. not excluding any places of tension, but absorbing them as this feeling of nectar exhalation flows down the torso. You may tune in with the breath now as it comes and goes, a gentle rise and fall of the belly. And letting go of agenda. Being with the body breathing itself. Felt sense of being here. Senses open. Quality of holding, of spaciousness. This pure perception is operating naturally through the body. Bring attention to your left hip. Exhale. If you'd like to use that image of this nectar feeling all the way down your left leg, past your left knee, left ankle into the sole of your left foot, it might just feel this vibratory aliveness in your whole left leg and foot. Feeling the subtlety of the breath, energy moving through the leg and foot. Bringing attention to the right hip. This exhale, nectar feeling all the way down the right leg, past the right knee, right ankle, sole of the right foot. And the energetic aliveness of the right leg and foot. Whatever it is that's in your experience is perfectly fine just as it is. Breathing in and out. Bringing attention to both hips, take an exhalation now, both legs and feet, toes, same time. You may feel little adjustments, natural adjustments in your body, and you may feel just subtle energy moving, this vibratory aliveness, as you feel the felt sense of both legs and feet. Images, again, may come and go. Tuning in to that pure perception here, sensing both legs and feet, torso, Arms and hands, head and neck, face. Let the whole body globally. Sensing perhaps this feeling of being non-separate from the space around you, from the holding, from the ground. Allowing this pure 
perceiving to shine through your experience. A felt sense of this pure perception. Allowing that to penetrate your cells, your subtle body energetically. Letting this mean what it means for you. So just doing this inquiry at your own pace as the body is just breathing itself, resting here. You may go in and out of states of sleep, in between sleep and wake. Just the natural movement of the mind, of the body, as it relaxes, releases tension. Just noticing any emotional tones that may be present now or have been here today joy, laughter, moments of sadness or disappointment. Can you feel those movements in your awareness of emotion and mood? Just tuning in from perceiving them as the felt sense subtle movements of energy in your body throughout the day that we call emotion, feeling. Taking this moment to acknowledge, allow, welcome, be with any number of these movements. We're just appreciating being human and being able to feel this wide range of feeling. Perhaps a sense of gratitude. Just to have the capacity to feel and experience our way through life. Same with thoughts or images, memories, beliefs. Perhaps there have been images or memories that have come through your awareness today or now. Or kind of subtle old core beliefs that might be here operating under the surface. Can you welcome those too? There's nothing left out here. And appreciating the fact that we can remember, have images of meaning making, and beliefs, and just allowing perhaps a sense of gratitude and appreciation for that aspect of being human and alive and navigating the life that's here for us. Feeling this pure perceiving, you might have that as a felt sense that's sort of through the senses but beyond them. There's no, no judging, no needing to be a certain way, simply exploring your inner experience as we move through the practice. Coming back to that sense of gratitude, or perhaps if there is any joy present or appreciation. Can you allow attention to rest in the heart for a moment as you may connect with a feeling of gratitude, appreciation, love or care? 
even if it's something challenging, tuning in to the love and care that's here, that toward the experience that's unfolding for you. The vulnerable, kind of gentle love feeling that's here toward your experience. doesn't push anything away, simply naturally operating or tuning into it if it's here for you. That might invite a deeper rest in your whole body as you tune in to this quality of love, care, appreciation, perhaps even trust, like a trust in life and the unfolding. Returning to that sense of holding, like the space holding you, the ground supporting, surface supporting you. And the grace of that as you felt sense if it's here for you. And if we just walk through all of these movements and awareness, the movement of body sensation, of the senses, of the breath, of the body globally, emotions, feeling tones, thoughts, images, memories, joy, gratitude, love. I'm feeling this pure perceiving that's here. The invitation is to inquire into this perceiving, naturally operating, feeling of awake, aware, presence. It's closer than the closest, is how it's been described. A body breathing in and out, tuning in again to that flow, following the wave of the breath in, the wave of the breath out. asking before we close the meditation, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment? And then get quiet and still and feel the perceiving as you just notice what arises in your psyche and your awareness, if there is anything at all. Is there anything important to be known, seen, acknowledged? in this moment. So meeting just whatever comes, acknowledging it. It could be anything from a, a feeling of gratitude to a feeling of the kind of a sweet vulnerability to just an action that's asking to be taken in your life. And then circling back to the intention for the practice, whatever that is for you. Acknowledging it inwardly, seeing if it's changed at all. And 
And we're going to slowly close the practice. And the way that we'll do that is, if you're up for it, by really gently opening and closing your eyes. So a few times, just allow your eyes to gently open. And then allow your eyes to gently close. Maybe two more times like that, gently opening the eyes, taking in environment, and allowing the eyes to close. Ooh, one more time. And just as we as we do close the practice, beginning to maybe um, move the fingers, maybe even squeezing the hands into fists and releasing, moving the toes. Beginning little by little to, if it feels right, move the body. As always, you can Feel free to remain here and let yourself fall into sleep. Um, if you'd like, you can gently allow your knees to come in towards your chest, rolling off to one side. There's no rush here. I'm just feeling this, um, if you can, and with continuing this inquiry with a felt sense and a, the perception, purity of perception here. We have other qualities that come along with it or that emanate from it. Just simply notice those as you just gently allow your attention to Come back and reorient and um, Pranav, when you're ready, we can end the recording here and then we'll have some time for some reflection. Thank you.